Hey everybody, this just came in today. Sleeping Gods, got the realistic resources as well. Pull them out real quick. So I, all I did was take off the plastic, haven't taken everything out, but I'm gonna unbox it. Then I'm gonna take a break, rebox it, and go over how I stored everything. So these look like little statues, I'm guessing. Um, little hay bales or possibly wheat. You got the carrots there, meat, steak, beef. And then clay, maybe? Looks like clay. Um, so here we go, into the Deluxe Sleeping Gods box. Let's open this up. Again, all I did was take off the plastic. You can see the gold foil there and the frosted embossed on the bottom of the box. Uh, I believe this is the, yep, here's your campaign atlas book. You've got some uh, sheets that you can record your status and what's going on in between uh, campaigns. Um, you got the storybook. Just gonna lead you through that adventure rule book. Achievement sheet, and then a little start guide, quick start guide. Uh, you'll see right here, this is a dungeon expansion which came in the Kickstarter the uh, tiles as well so I'll open that up and then show you how I put it in here you got a little standy token um, you got the different boxes it's gonna be the one with the adventure cards in it as you can see nothing's been opened but there's the cards we'll go through them it should fit sleeve cards from what I understand um, then the little boxes to store different goods so as you've seen there's the metal coins you got the ones and probably the fives other little wooden wooden components as far as like probably health trackers and other uh, marking guides right there. Additional cards. So we'll get that uh, broken out. See what we've got another one where we can store other goods. A big old box to store some stuff. As you'll see here are the uh, monster cards. Tarot size. I believe I had enough sleeves for those. Probably not all the cards yet, but I know I got some a lot of tarot card sleeves. Use quest cards, just like in Charter Stone or anything. This is where you'll put things that you don't need in the campaign anymore. Plenty of baggies. A lot of y'all like different baggies to put and separate. Additional baggies, probably a different size since they're separated. And then we've got uh, the punch boards for the ship and um, the player, player pieces and other additional tokens. So that's all that's in the box, inside box art, um, bottom of the box. If you store them um, um, on the side, you'll see you have some different options. Um, on the main box, it does have one side that does have the title on there, but we're gonna go ahead and separate this stuff and show you how I uh, reboxed the Sleeping Gods by Ryan Lockout. All right, everything's been punched and sleeve which with I have sleeves. So I don't have sleeves yet, probably get sleeve later. Um, but I'm gonna show you how I stored everything. Again, it could change as I play the campaign. But for now, this is how I have it set up. So let's start with this box. So we'll start with the big chest box and this is where you will store your campaign uh, quests as you go. Uh, what I did for now though, which there's not a bunch going on, is you get these those big Ziploc bags. Um, I went ahead and just put every character's card in one or player board in one. That way it's ready to go for whoever's playing that. They just pull that out, put it back in theirs, and they can save it. Um, in addition to that, I'll put that down. I went ahead and threw in the realistic resources in that same box, the metal coins in that box. Uh, separated these, I believe they're fatigue tokens. I can't remember. I just glanced at the rule book real quick um, for this to learn more later. I went ahead and did the search tokens, the different letter tokens for the campaign, and then um, the synergy tokens that look like the people, those in a bag together, all the uh, status tokens in a bag together, and then the different just markers. So I think these are like ship markers, and then you got the hexagons, and then uh, uh, the guy on the ship, and then some other little trackers for you. Those all fit in this box pretty neatly. Just slide that there. Then if we open up this magnetic chest box, that's where you'll have all the 
quest cards. I put them in order. You don't want to shuffle these, put these in order. And then you've got the adventure cards. I went ahead and put the dungeon adventure cards as well there. And again, this should fit sleeve cards from what I believe. Um, for now, I just use the foam as a spacer to separate them, but you could remove the foam and sleeve them in there. I think it'll fit the expansion cards as well. Um, it just looks like it would, but maybe not. Um, but there's going to be a jump from about 90 to 136 for the dungeon cards here. Another set of cards, uh, I believe they're like market cards or some other ones, and then you've got the remaining dungeon cards over here that just slide in barely. And if you take the dungeon cards out, you may fit the expansion cards. I'm just using what I got and going with that. So next, we'll open up this one. This is where I put a, all the um, Titan or monster cards that you'll face in the campaign. Don't want to look at them, but you do want to keep them in order. I went ahead and sleeved them. They are 100% tarot cards. You can see they fit nicely. Um, put the other market cards and then all the like punch board tokens. We'll pull all these out. All the punch board tokens um, that are like big sizes like the egg and the guy in the underwater space suit all that or underwater suit all that stuff's going to be there got the little uh, standy token and then all the mini cards will fit nicely in that space as well you've got the painted ship some of you may have gotten the metal one i thought the painted one was nice nice enough so we'll just put that in there and then i put the health trackers but you'll notice i did put the five punch out tokens Right there in the same bag so they'll all fit nicely in this box which can go right here we've got this box which for now doesn't need a whole lot of stuff in it uh, may change as i go um, took all the original resources and and cardboard coins for now i'm putting them in this box if i need more room for expansion tiles or anything else I'll put these in a different box since I won't use them for now. And then I put all the dungeon uh, tokens for punch outs in that box as well. Keep them separated. This is going to be empty. Remember, we haven't played the game yet. So unused cards, and you can use the um, foam to help slide that in and keep it in place. From that point, this is where you'll put you know, your all your different story books and atlas books in here and your rule books and how to store, save the campaign and... Then you can even throw your dungeon storybook and your dungeon map tiles. You will have one of these left over even if you put all the characters in there. So that can go on there. And then we've got the ship board. It is double sided. So you got your three to four players and your one to two. If you're doing solo or just a two person. Other than that, we just put the box top back on top. Give it that shimmer of the gold. Again, you could have a if you store it sideways you can do the boat and it is uh it is uh, embossed as well or if you want the gold side or again another box side or just another gold side so your choice that is the reboxing hopefully it helped you figure out how you want to store it again if you don't like the way i stored something feel free to put it in a different spot that's just kind of on the fly how i came up with it again it'll probably change as we start playing the game to make it easier to sort but that's the unboxing and reboxing of Sleeping Gods by Red Raven Games and uh, Ryan Lockout. Lockout, another, hopefully another hit. I mean, near and far, above and below. So many, I mean, this guy does it all. Art, everything of the game. So I hope you enjoyed the unboxing, reboxing, and maybe we'll have a hard to master about this later. We'll see uh, what's going on with it. But thanks for tuning in. Check out our other content. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video, comment if you have any questions or anything. And... Uh, maybe I'll give an update if I do sleeve the rest of the cars. But until next time, this was hard to master.